everybody. Movie Crank Larry here, back again today with another trailer reaction for you. And this time we got, oh boy, it's Terminator Dark Fate. Why am I nervous? Why do I feel this weird sense of like, it's a combination of worry and excitement. Probably because I grew up with Terminator as one of the greatest action sci-fi franchises on Earth. But if we're talking about some of these latest installments, all I can think is disappointment. I mean, I won't lie, there is things I did like in Salvation, and it can be at times a guilty pleasure for me. But Genesis? That hurt. Is that pain real or was that a trick of memory from when I was less? After that, I really did think the Terminator was finally dead. But it's Hollywood, and nothing dies in Hollywood. They just keep finding ways to keep stretching out these good ideas from back in an era when people actually had ideas. And let's be honest, the first trailer for this one didn't bring me any renewed hope in the franchise. Even with my childhood idol Arnold Schwarzenegger on board and James Cameron back, I was wanting to see more of Arnold in this trailer, and after, I was kind of worried that his role in this movie maybe more of a cameo appearance. So that being said, let's go ahead and watch this one and cross our fingers and hope James Cameron here has put together a fresh new idea to keep this franchise rolling in the right direction. And Arnold is more than just a cameo. All right, guys, so here we go. Terminator Dark Fate. Talk. Talk fast. You first. My name is Sarah Connor. August 29, 1997. <laughs> oh, nice. It was supposed to be Judgment Day. But I changed the future. Saved three billion lives. Enough of a resume for you. <laughs> no. You may have changed the future, but you didn't change our fate. Uh... <laughs> I know you're scared, but I'm here to protect you. I've never seen one like you before. Almost human. I am human, just enhanced. Why do you care what happens to her? Because I was her. Sarah! I can see you're very upset. I'm going to help you protect the girl. Oh yeah. Nobody else That's what I like. because of me. Oh. You don't make it. Everybody dies. Expect a big pain, brother. The whole body's a weapon. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, yes. When this is all over, I am going to kill you. I understand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, get him. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> oh, good old Sarah Connor. All right. So that definitely was a huge improvement from the first trailer. The effects look much crisper. The action looks 
well shot and the explosions are practical. So let's start with what I liked and some of the things that I still have worries about I'll get into later because trust me, there's still a few of those. But after this trailer, I can tell you that's going to be a much shorter list. So first, let's start with Sarah Connor. August 29th, 1997, Judgment Day. The day Sarah Connor stopped from happening years ago. It was supposed to be Judgment Day. But I changed the future. Saved three billion lives. At least she thought, but now she's back in the battle gear again, ready to wage war against the machines. Where exactly John Connor is in all this, or what's happening with him, is still a mystery. If the IMDB page is right though, Edward Furlong is back as John Connor. And that is some news that I am really excited about. For some reason, I feel they're hiding a lot from us here in these trailers. But we also have a new character, well, we actually have two new characters. First there is 32 year old Natalia Reyes as Danny, the girl Sarah says during the trailer she once was. Because I was her. So my guess here is Danny is most likely gonna be pregnant with the next John Connor-like character, the savior of mankind from the machines in the future. We also have Mackenzie Davis as Grace, recognizes herself as an enhanced human, something that would actually really make sense. I mean, even Eli Musk has said, in the future, when AI becomes reality, humans will need to do something to enhance their intelligence to keep up and stay relevant. Becoming part AI or cybernetic human would make perfect sense. But something I definitely did notice in this trailer was a lot more action, a lot more Terminator, and a lot more Arnold. You don't know how relieved I am to see Arnold appearing here to be more than just a cameo. Now, who he is, a human or Terminator, I don't really know at this time. IMDP page says he's a Terminator, which what Terminator he would be if he would be the Terminator in Terminator 2 or some other Terminator. Again, I really have no idea, but that insane plane scene he does, it definitely seems to have the ability to push the other Terminator around. So my money is on he's a Terminator Grace may have rebuilt from maybe found or spare Terminator parts or the Terminator from T2. Somehow, but I don't really know how that's going to work. Like I said, there's a lot of mystery around this one still. I do know one thing though. This has a lot of T2 subplots. Friendly Terminators and of course a new kind of liquid Terminator played here by Gabriel Luna. Similar to Robert Patrick's T1000 except on top of being near indestructible, he can replicate himself. And Luna here is one of the bigger things I took away from this trailer. We really didn't see a whole lot of Luna in the first trailer and the CGI there looked a little iffy. But here he looks good, and the way they show him is something I really liked. Adding to the reality here with even what seems like having the ability to crack jokes. Something other Terminators lack. Besides Patrick's, most Terminators have been one-dimensional machines, on the hunt for Connor, straight-faced and emotionless. And let's just say, him bulldozing through the guards has me feeling good about this new Terminator. So the trailer to me looks good. Not great, but something I do want to see now. I want to see what direction Cameron's going to take this. And yes, sure, there still are things to complain about. I mean, I know a lot of people are going to be saying, well, this is kind of woke. But for me, Sarah Connor has always been a badass. We've always had female Terminators before. That doesn't bother me. What still does worry me is this still it just seems a lot like other Terminators rehashed. Cameron has gone as far as saying the last three Terminators are where he gained most of his inspiration to create this new story. And it shows. We have a half-human, half-cyborg. That's salvation. We have a good Terminator, except now he's older, grizzled. That's T2, T3, and Genesis. We have a liquid Terminator, again T2. Except this time Hamilton and Schwarzenegger seem to be actively trying to pass the torch to a new generation of actors, a new John Connor, a new Terminator, and I'm not sure, you know, if the die-hard fans of Terminator, the ones that want to see this movie for the things like Hamilton, Furlong, and Schwarzenegger are quite ready for that yet. Something I'm not personally ready for. And if I'm really being honest, I don't know if I ever will be. And yeah, that's pretty much what's still hurting me and bothering me with this film. And I think a lot of other people, we don't want to move on yet. If this means no more Terminator movies, well, some things are just best left alone. 
But all in all, this is a way better trailer, and it has me interested in this movie now. So anyways, guys, if you haven't yet, do me a favor. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and give it a like, and let me know what you think about this latest Dark Fate trailer. My guess is it won't be the last one. We still have about two months before Terminator Dark Fate is released to theaters on November 1st. But yeah, that's about all I have for now, so thanks for stopping by, but until next time, guys, see you.